Hello, my name is Jacob Bustillos. This video is for the Rexburg Family History Center patrons as a visual help on converting a cassette tape to a digital format. Now, assuming you've already got everything situated for your cassette tape into the player, you're going to want to begin by using the software and the program on the computer and to get that established. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to look for the pro software program called Audacity, which is right here with the little headphones. And then just double click it. You can press OK right here. Now before you begin and start your recording, you're going to want to make sure that you have certain settings that are established at the moment. So to begin with, right here are the settings that you're going to want to change. Now at the time of this video, this recording is done on my personal computer and all the information for that. Um, as I do not have all the equipment connected to it, but I will tell you what settings you need to make sure that you have. And those settings are available because the device and the cassette player is all connected to the computer. So first in the first drop down box, you're going to want to make sure that you have Windows Direct Sound is selected. Moving forward, you'll then look for line USB audio. And as previously mentioned, it's not located on here because I am not connected to all the equipment, but it will be available onto the computer. The next is, is you want to do stereo recording channel, which is the second one. And lastly is speakers, high definition audio device. Now, before you start to press play on your cassette tape and allow the, the recordings to go, you're going to want to get familiar with the pause, play, and start here on the program. They do exactly as they're, do, uh, as they're supposed to. And, and what I would recommend is prior to starting and pressing play on your cassette tape, you're going to want to press the record button on here. Once you press the record button on here, it'll have a short delay into starting and doing to the recording and then then push play on your player and then as it starts to go it'll start to to do the recording once your recording is done you're going to have a few different examples right here you have your cut copy or anything like that you can do some minor editing tools to show you as an example i'm going to open a recent file that i created and saved Now that I got my file open, this is what your recording will look similarly like, give or take. It'll be different as depending on your settings and everything established for your audio and everything. So once you have your recording, you can do the cut and you can splice it. So if you have empty spaces and you'd like to have that cut, you can establish and do those settings. But once you, if you're okay with what it is in the raw format, raw form, what you're going to need to do in order to make it available to read as an MP3, you're going to need to go to File, Export, and then Export as MP3. And what that'll do is the, that'll give you the File Explorer right here, and you can pick the location where you want to save it. Um, Generally, you're going to have your own personal USB drive, so you're going to want to navigate to this PC and scroll down to where the device and drives are and look for the one that corresponds to your USB. Once you have that selected, you push OK, name it, and then give you the option to, to save it, and then you're, you are good to go. So hopefully this will assist you and Hopefully this will help it make it easier so that you, you can continue to convert those cassette tapes into digital format and have them in multiple 
uh, forms of accessibility.